effort by Jay Gars this year. We saw that a lot last year for Bacolod. Unfortunately, he's in next year's program. As to those five seven players, of course, they're going to have to fight for those spots. Uh, that's going to be very interesting. And that's why we continue to say that whatever situation... Wow. Cortejos brings the ball down. Jay Gars will attack, and he was blocked by the all-star Alcoriza. But Caminales will clean up the mess. I just want to expound also on that point that I've been talking about earlier. You know, for other people who don't understand, that might seem like a harsh remark. Because you're expected to do your best, when you do your best, you now give yourself the opportunity to open yourself up to better pastures, to get better contracts, to be get higher pay. And that really is the count of himself for this season. I'm sure what he's experienced this year will only bode well for his career moving forward. And to your point about him being the main big man, as Justin Guevara scores inside, he can only will shape up differently para sa kanila. Well, we did receive some good news though from Coach Nat Gregorio. As Jerome Garcia makes a three-pointer that there's some positive light happening nowadays for Laguna as Alcoriza scores inside. No? They are expecting some help to come sometimes both ends of the floor. That's still very rare. And remember, we've talked about the level of competition in the season. It has drastically increased as minute to talk to his players and gather them after this turnover. Good defense on the swipe by Jordan Ingel, who is a returning player, by the way, from Bulacan. Great to see him back for a couple of games now. Let's see if Laguna will provide an answer. All-star with the MPBL this season. Second, he got to work alongside the Jericho Daniera in the pros. The guy is extremely overwhelmed by the draft offers from other teams. So he That's going to be very interesting for him. I've always liked the way Reds Alcoriza conducts himself on the floor. A very no-nonsense player. You barely see him doing any... You don't get to see that every day, no? From Bulacan. Yeah. Well, they were doing it at the start of the season, but ever since they lost pieces, they haven't resorted to run pressure defenses for their squads. Fortunately, Coach Joseph Mabagos thinks differently. There's an outlet and an easy layup for Jordan Ingel. To your point, Coach Alvin Gray is affected in terms of the change of defense today of Bulacan. Well, it could be they're trying to get Coach Alvin Gray to get back. It back up to Pat Anunuevo, the Kuya of Allen. It's Irving Mendoza on his attack. Great defense by Alcoriza. Forward pass again, and two easy points for Gentoy Segura. If this Laguna 5 will have to do a collective effort in trying to produce points, at first, they gotta make their juice on the offensive, on the defensive side. Rather, there's another turnover. Wow. It's Jordan Ingel getting that three-point play opportunity. He's had players, but in that play, was able to show us that he's back. Nasalot na rin si Van Peña for Laguna as Jay Gars. Again, shows us his good conditioning. Kabila, Justin Guevara. Was that a slam? It was a slam. Maybe you could characterize it as that. He still was able to hold on to the rim after. Just not the cleanest. But he still got the two points. Now, Lago Portejos with his mustache on. Signature leader. Yes, sir. When you have hands as big as Paolo, you definitely have the luxury of being able to pump that basketball into those one-hand shots. And one last time, one more time, Laguna was able to set up their defense. Bulacan did not even run anything. They just went up for the shot and it missed. That's been the story of the second quarter for Bulacan as Irvin Mendoza scored fast. Couple of moves from Alcoriza. He leans in and he scores. That looked like it was going nowhere inside hand. So it's been Ingel and Alcoriza here putting on the points for Bulacan. Oh, it's Paulo Botejos who answers back at the other end. Looks like we're seeing a 2v2 scoring matchup here, Mix. So it's Jeremy Cruz now who makes a three-pointer, but prior to that, it was Ingel. Good case. 
Jagars is now up to 17 points. Uh, Segura scores already right now. Again, not much defense by Laguna. Reading 12 now. Pat Vigiga, baseline drive. No good on the layup. And there's Sebastian working hard again. Ball ended up with Bulacan. One more offensive rebound and the put back with Benzon. It's not enough effort on the glass. We're back inside the strike gym in Bacoor Cavite. This is Mix Gomez alongside Adi Palanya and Mika Besamis. Runs Yuzon. Nice fake. He even looked at his defender for pulling up. Boy, what a putback that was from Benson. But uh, definitely after Floyd dedicatoria because now na talaga yan si Kuya Floyd. Oh, naman. <laughs> As Ken Arce scores it downtown. Oh, after John Wilson did John Wilson. Ang alam ko magkasabay sa JRU si John Wilson at si Mabulak. Ooh. Paulo Kimnan scores inside. How about Jack Stepinan? Yes. Nine seconds remaining before halftime. Sebastian misses. Here's Jay Gars. Garcia all the way for two. He has 21 points at halftime. Look at him slide and glide to the basket. In the fifth season of the MPBL. On Friday, Emos will be hosting on Saturday in Quezon. And let's wait for further announcements regarding the postponed games last week in Marikina because they do have some playoff implications at 63 to 50. Paolo Potejo. Much adjustment for both teams in terms of defense, at least for the first two possessions of these two squads here in the second half. And, uh, 65 52. That's Paolo who scores. Let's get inside the paint. Get green. There it is. He's on. Faking the pass, and then ultimately he gave up the ball. It's actually a pretty good setup right there by Yuz. There's the trailer. Arce, one more feed. Begiga will score. So on that, that is on the other end. He bumps through and misses. Nico recovers. However, he could not complete the bonus. He did witness 20 offensive rebounds in the as Alcoriza. Fire. Short. Oh, he's had a slow third quarter so far. Yuz on. Thought he was gonna pull up. There's the pass. And in fairness for Red Zuzan in this game, he already has six. Nung tinanong ko siya during halftime, alam mo na ba kung uh, nakailang points ka na? Sabi niya, hindi. So he's unaware of it. To hear that answer from Jay Gars himself. And I said, oh, ito na, I'll give you. Your total is 21. Kaya mo ba mag-50? Runs <laughs> Yuzon now fires and misses. The lead is 12. Pontejos on the run. What an escape from Paulo Pontejos. Yeah, he may be one of the smallest guard. Potejos back at it. The pass to Jay Gars to tie his career high. Yes, sir. Back in 2021 during the MPBL. Something of this period. It's already quite decided that he will be able to break this in this quarter alone. And we still have 10 minutes ahead of us. They trailed by as many as 16 in the first half. Mendoza misfires. Rebound, Kiminales. And there's the putback. They're just playing it out on field. Their talents and their capabilities. That was almost a nice find to Justin Sanchez underneath. Justin Guevara. Guevara. Miss him as well. Definitely. In the FPBL. They've the actually been doing well. 78-75. A miss by Pagliares. And there's the put. Pulacan's on the run. Three on one, Justin Guevara all the way for the slam. Then there's the steal for the Kuyas. They two plus one opportunity for Matt Begiga. Now a possible five to nothing run for the Kuyas to respond. Not really the way you want to close out this quarter if you're Laguna. In ball and Bulacan with the way that they've been running here in this game, you would expect that they would finish every fast break opportunity with a basket that time. But over time, that I'm sure will definitely develop. Nice pass. Out of Laguna. That usually got on the drive. Not a good pass there. Numbers for Laguna. And that's a chug. A little bit more running. Five seconds to go. Jagar's on the run. The feed. Nice pass on to Jason Sellis. A good job for Celis to be able to protect that basketball with his body. He leaned in, 
into that good pass by Jerome Garcia in traffic. There you see him avoiding Sanchez, who luckily just lets him go up for that basket without much resistance. And with that, we are tied at 83. As for these two teams, Bulacan is looking for back-to-back -back victories. Laguna naman looking to snap her scoring on your screens. T3 while well, they held Bulacan to just under 23 points in that third period. So let's see. Both teams so far trading great by Jordan Ingel. And here comes Boss R. Ron Siuzon looking at his defender. Waiting for that moment to come along. John, nice defense by Benson. Jordan Ingel on the run and he scores. Help but think what if. Oh. <laughs> Dami talagang what if, no, Javi? Dami, huh? 90 to 88. That's life for you. Yeah. I'm sure Mika would agree. Forward pass, Jason Sellis all the way for two. Productive second half. Lose more markers here in the fourth period. Oh, Benson's a chance. Scores in sucks now. Colored workers. Ito yung mga... Puro hard work talaga pinapakita as Paolo Quimenales scores inside. And final game today here in the MPBL. Yup, I just announced his retirement. Migs, happy? Wow. That's why she had to report it today. Thank you, Migs. So obviously, that's a good sign for Renz Alcoriza. And we do wish him the best in his recovery. mentioned that he's going to be a coach soon enough. First of all, do you want to say thank you to Kuya Floyd, Tito Floyd, however you want to call him. Because he has been such a good role model, not only to Laguna players, but to the rest of the MPBL players and fans as Jerome Garcia scores inside. I'm sure Floyd de Dicatoria has inspired a lot of basketball players, especially from where he's from. And definitely would want to get a number of applauses for how Floyd de Dicatoria conducted himself in his professional basketball career. Yes. Floyd with the forward pass. Jay Gars. Yes, 32 points for Jerome Gars bench. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I, I wish everybody here would realize that it's already his last game. He definitely deserves a standing ovation. They were down by 10 at halftime. The score was 60 to 50. Dedicatorio, another feed to Miko Pagliares. Commissioner Kenneth nowadays with the playoffs, Pasha Ganusha established as a role player. He's not even being given the ball right now as Kiminale scores inside. And he never demands for it. He's never really needed that amount of spotlight in his career as Jeff Cruz knocks down a three from top of the circle. At the scoring in the season, the previous season high was 102, as we mentioned. So, what a way for you to end with a bang! Uh, Celis scores two more. This oh, yes. a bucket. Oh, yes, that's perfect. Great job by Paolo Jimenez, and rightfully so. The last two points in this last victory of Laguna in the fifth season of the MVP 104. Sorry, 114 to 105 is our final score. Now, Jay Garz is with Miga Bizabis.